Hey everybody, it is March 20th, 2021, and I've got some awesome news. After about two months of work that our team has put into the Pick and Place project, we've actually hit the point where we can pick components from cut tape and place them onto a PC board. And what you see running here is actually a demo of that. So we're using the OpenPNP uh, reference uh, strip feeders, which work with these cut tapes that are just held down with double-sided tape in our case. It actually uses the vision system to locate the sprocket holes and then find the parts offset from that. So when you see right before it picks apart, the camera is actually positioned over the tape just like here, and then it grabs the part. We also now have our bottom vision working. So you see now this run of parts is actually doing bottom vision checks, and that uses that bottom camera and computer vision to find the offset and rotation of the part after it's been picked up. Sometimes they move a little bit on the nozzle and that improves the accuracy when they are placed uh, onto the PC board. This does of course add a little bit of time because the nozzles have to traverse over to the camera but for the increased accuracy and for the low volumes that we'll be running it's kind of worth it. So we'll just sit back here for a moment and listen to the robot noises while this thing runs. And that's the end of that. You can see it did a pretty good job of placing all these parts. Uh, the first batch were done without bottom vision. The second batch was done with bottom vision. So I may have buried the lead a bit here, but not only did we get those reference strip feeders working, but we also got one of our Siemens Schultz feeders working. Now, this is nothing like how we plan to have the feeders actually set up. This is really just a very simple uh, test setup so we can actually see these things run. But we've got two lanes filled with some random 0603 parts. These are not actually the correct parts for the PC board. This is really just for a test. But it is really awesome to see everything coordinated. Uh, the shutters open on the feeders, the parts get picked up, they get bottom vision checked and placed on the board. On the right hand side of the video here, we've got uh, live screen capture coming from the OpenPMP workstation. You can see the spreadsheet with all the parts on the right hand side getting filled in. Every time a part gets placed, there's a check that gets uh, applied to say that it's been placed. You can see the bottom vision, uh, computer vision stuff happening there in the right hand camera window. Uh, it's just kind of a cool overview of the whole process of software and hardware running at the same time. Here we've got a, uh, a nice close up of the feeders and the zoomed in view of the bottom vision. So you can see on this first lane of the feeder that the uh, bottom vision checks are working pretty well. You see the little red square get drawn around the component. You're going to see shortly as it starts to pick up parts out of the second lane of the feeder that I did not have the uh, pipeline configured properly for that lane. So you're going to see the red boxes around the parts kind of go crazy. And OpenPMP starts to make kind of poor placements. We'll see them later on. Uh, when we look at the board in detail. So here we go, here's the first one picked out of that second lane. You can see this huge square that gets drawn around it, and that's totally not correct because, again, I had the image pipeline screwed up for that one. I did not properly copy my changes over to it. So as we use the uh, jog function to look at all the parts that were just placed, everything that came from the first lane of that feeder where the pipeline was set up properly for bottom vision, they all look really good. I mean, they're not absolutely 100% perfect, but they're high 90s within the margin of error we expect with some of the uh, mechanical problems we're still chasing in the system. And we're now going to take a look at the ones that were placed from the second lane of the feeder. And we're going to see that these were placed in the correct spot on the board, but they look like they were put down by somebody who was pretty drunk. And that's again, because the pipeline was screwed up so it did not get the proper outline of the part and uh, just had the completely wrong orientation and offset.